Hey there YouTube. Today I'll be using this program called Shotcut. This is a video editing program and I use this program to create videos for YouTube. This is a free and open source program that anyone can use. Today I would like to uh, work on this video here that I took. Let me go ahead and bring that up real quick. And this is a video I shot with my phone. It's a slow motion video of me pouring milk into a glass cup full of coffee and ice. And what I'd like to do with this video is I'd like to edit out the background or basically mask off the background and replace the background with an image. And in this case the image I want to use is this one here. Let me go ahead and drag this into the playlist here and double click on it. And this is an image I took or a picture I took with my phone a few years back in Mexico. And this is a really nice image. I like to put this image as the background to this video instead of showing whatever is blurred out in the background uh, as you can see here. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is add this video to my timeline down here. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab it from my playlist and drag it down here and let it go. And that adds the video down here in my timeline. And I can see that it's a 2 minute and 35 second video approximately. And I do not want to actually have this whole video, but I want to cut a part of it out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of scroll through the timeline and try to find where this video begins, where I would like, where at least where I would like for it to begin. So just about right around here. And I'm going to right click on this timeline. Uh, of this video timeline and I'm gonna click uh, split at playhead what that's gonna do is it's gonna split out this video into two parts and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one on the left side and I'm gonna go ahead and drag this to the beginning so now I have this video it's down to about a minute and 45 seconds um, and I cut off the beginning part that I didn't want and as you can see I can continue playing it and the part I wanted to stop at would be so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here so I'm gonna split it at playhead and delete the rest of it and there you go that's the that's part of that's the only part of this video I would like to have so that's that's where we're at now okay so next we're gonna go ahead and add a filter to this video or this clip here that I have in the timeline so I'm gonna select it go to the filters tab click the plus sign and type mask for search and I'm going to add the mask from file filter and in here it's gonna allow me to select the file to filter it with and it has a few already made files here um, but there's also custom when you select custom it allows you to select the file now what I will be needing to do is I would need to create this custom file to, to mask with. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to open up the video in VLC, which is a video playing program. And what VLC allows me to do is pause wherever I need, click video, and click take snapshot. And this will take a snapshot of this frame in this video and it will save it into my home directory. Let me go ahead and open that snapshot now. Alright, so here's the snapshot that it took. And what I'm going to do with the snapshot is open it with another program, which is an image editor. It's called GIMP. And this is also a free and open source program. And you can use it on both Windows and on Linux, which is what I'm using currently. So now that I have it opened with he over here, and what I'm basically going to do is create, out of this image, I'm going to create a simple black and white image that Shotcut can use to apply alpha to a certain part of the video and make the rest of it um, transparent. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this uh, free select tool and I'm going to start selecting the areas that I want to delete or make transparent. So zoom in a little bit. 
starting here I want to go ahead and select out all of this here and since this cup has a slight curve to it I'm gonna need to kind of select little by little by little and follow that curve just like that And I'm going to go ahead and select this way. And there you go. Now this whole part is selected. I'm going to go ahead and click delete on my keyboard. I'm going to need to add an alpha channel to this. Add alpha channel. When you right click on this layer, you can click add alpha channel. Adds an alpha channel to this layer here. And now I can go ahead and click delete. There you go. It became transparent. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same to this side. So I'm going to go ahead and deselect, unselect whatever I had selected here, and do the same over here now. Zoom in a little bit, see where I'm at, and start the process of selecting little by little, following the curve of the cup, just like that. There you go. And I'm going to go ahead and select the rest of it outside. And there you go. Now that part is all selected. I'm going to click delete. And it got deleted. That's it. Um, now what I've got to do is basically make this part all black. Or I should say alpha selection. Okay, so now it's selected everything that has an alpha, which is not transparent. So what you do, the way I did that is I right-clicked, and I clicked uh, alpha selection right here, alpha selection on this layer, and now this part's all selected. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. While it's still selected, I'm going to click this color picker. I'm going to click black, so now it's black, and I'm going to click the paint bucket tool. And I'm going to just fill in this whole area that the glass cup was in with the color black. So now I got a nice uh, mask I can use in Shotcut. I'm going to go ahead and save this, or I should say export it as a JPEG or a PNG. Let's just go ahead and use JPEG. JPG. There you go. And export. Uh, no, don't replace. I'm going to call this one mask. All right, there we go. Okay, so now I have this image here. All right, so now once again, I'm here inside of Shotcut, and I have my video clip selected with the filters tab open, and I have the mask from file filter selected here, and I'm going to go ahead and say file custom, and I'm going to click on my mask that I just created, which is this image here, open. All right, so in order for us to actually see the mask after we've uh, went ahead and uh, put it in, is we need to actually create another video track. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click down here in an area outside of this track here. I'm just gonna click right click out here and I'm gonna say add video track. And I'll go ahead and add a new video track. And what I want to do is I want to move this one up here. And below it, I'm going to put my image. So I'm going to go to Playlist, drag my image down there, and expand it. There you go. So what it's doing now is it's applying the mask. And behind it, you're going to see whatever's underneath, whatever's in this second video track below the first one. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, it's basically now doing what I want it to do. Uh, the only downside is uh, this image isn't the correct size and so you can see these black bars on the left and right sides. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this image out so that it fills in the whole video. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the image and I'm going to click filters tab 
add a filter and I'm going to add the size and position filter actually I'm sorry I'm gonna add the rotate and scale filter and what that's gonna let me do is it's gonna let me scale this image up and you can see that the second property here for this filter is scale I'm gonna click up a few times let's see let's go up to about 160 right here and you can see how it filled in the rest of the video viewport here and there you have it we got ourselves a video with the background we wanted masked into the background of of the video out here uh, once again I'll have links to all the software I've used in this video feel free to check those out and thanks for watching please subscribe to help support my channel and to watch other videos like this in the future. Thank you.